Australia, uh, you know, we did talk about wanting to get tickets to PAX. Uh, it, <laughs> so the first time they PAX Australia, which is running from the 8th to the 10th of October in Melbourne, uh, that the site basically crashed under the, the, the demand. So we couldn't get tickets first round. So uh, Mike and I are looking to go. And then this time the site basically crashed again, but in a different way. So, <laughs> you know, we're not going to have any access to PAX because they're going to hate us after this, <laughs> this segment. Shh. Don't tell them what you But did. we are fiercely independent <laughs> on uh, Big Week in Gaming. So they said that they're going to build all the uh, uh, infrastructure from scratch, all this kind of stuff. That's their wording. I didn't say that. They, get it. they said, we're going to mm-hmm. build it from the ground up. That's what they said. Now, that's not true. So of course all, it wasn't all true. The we ticket, knew that wasn't going to happen. <laughs> all the ticket infrastructure was exactly the same. Because <sighs> I actually got through most of the process last time and then it crashed. So it was exactly the same. The one thing that they did is they used another provider to put a queue in front of that website. So the Info Salons website, which okay. is a ticket website, they put a yeah. separate provider's service and whacked in some like JavaScript over the top of it. And then basically, as soon as you went on that website, it would just throw you into a queue. And then it would like give you some cookies to say, yeah, yeah, you're cool. You're allowed to go on it now. Bang, it'll, it'll put you on it. But the problem was people joined. There was like 4,000 people in the queue from the start when it went on sale the other day. Um, <laughs> but, you know, me being like a little, you know, tinkerer, <laughs> tinkerer in yeah, the old tinkerer, days. Yeah, that's the word for it. Yeah, <laughs> I was like... Oh, well, this this seems like silly. Why are you forcing me to do this? I don't like, you know, and then it's failing. All right, l- let me play around with it a little bit. And yeah, basically, you know, by accident, of course, I didn't do it intentionally. Oh, it just, just fell on the keyboard. <laughs> exactly. My fingers fell on the keyboard in certain patterns and I was looking at the traffic that was coming in through my browser and, oh yeah, maybe I'll block that and I'll block this and, oh, I'm on the website and I was able to buy tickets. Straight away. <laughs> so yeah, I bought, I bought <laughs> people are gonna hate us. Can I just say I because <laughs> I, I was on the pack site like looking for imagery and stuff for this segment and I if you go on the packs it, it by the way, if anyone from Pax Australia it happens to come across this clip, here's your chance to fix this. You go on the PAX site, which is Oz uh, aus.paxsite.com. Yeah. Then they've got three day badge, eighty percent sold out. Book now. That button takes you to the twenty nineteen events <laughs> <laughs> on the home page. It's what? the biggest thing. No, it doesn't, go, does it? Yes, it does. You click on book now. No, it's and, doing twenty twenty one for me. Book maybe now. Maybe they fixed it. Well, maybe, maybe it's cash, but for me, it oh takes wait, me if you to, click book now, okay, I click yes, book now. It takes wow. you to Pax oh, Australia twenty nineteen. It does. It does. <laughs> Holy shit! That you're right, sweetie. Yeah. That's so funny. No, because I clicked on the three day thing. You're right. That's there you go, Pax Australia. We should reach out to them, and they'll they'll like us then. Yeah, they'll <laughs> actually let you go in. <laughs> so, so Mike, did you did you get a ticket? Well, I think I got a ticket through through Intergod. Yeah, I mean, I sent him money for it. Yeah, you did get a ticket. I We've have got two no tickets. idea if I got a ticket though, but I think yeah, he did. He said he got two tickets. Otherwise, he just took my money and ran, <laughs> which I'm likely to do as well. Um, that's interesting, Swinny, that, that it's like that. That's funny. So, yeah, and all that, like, tomfoolery that I did, and it took hours for people to get tickets because they're stuck in these queues and then it would bomb them out when they went to pay. Mm. So then they had to start it from the start again. And then we just find out that there's still tickets available for the three-day events. So, yeah, the mad rush wasn't even uh, necessary necessarily. Um, but well, yeah, there's so- probably there's still the 4,000 people waiting in queue. Maybe, maybe. I'm just seeing if I can uh, message them directly, but they don't have their DMs open uh, packs. So you, you gotta you gotta learn how to slide into their DMs. Well, I can't because they don't they don't they're not following us. They barely follow yeah. anyone, and uh, yeah, I'll just have to message them directly on Twitter. Maybe it was that done that way just to like cull the herd. Like if you couldn't oh, yeah. figure it out, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you don't deserve to go to packs. <laughs> So, uh, so you guys looking forward to it then? I am. I am. Yeah, yeah, totally. And yeah, why it links cool. in with the last segment is that I was like, oh, maybe they'll announce Breath of the Wild two at E three, yeah. and then they'll have a playable demo of PAX. Ooh. Damn, yeah, possibly that'd, that'd be cool to see if I like it more or not. <laughs> Look at this guy. So Swinney is not a real believer. Okay, let, let's let the audience in on this. So 
I'm in Sydney and you two are in Melbourne. Mm-hmm. We'll only go as far as that. Hence the heating. Yeah. Well, it's cold in Sydney as well. Uh, and so I have to fly down. I've, you know, family, kids, blah, blah, blah. You know, all this yeah. drama to set it all up. But, I, you know, I'll do it for the show. Do it for the listeners. Do it for the love. And then Swinney, on the other hand, easily could get there. What is it? 20 minutes to get there for you, Swinney? If that. If that. Yeah, about 20, yeah. And just like, pfft, nah, forget about it. <laughs> Not doing it. What do you Not mean? Doing I got, it. What do you mean? I got my tickets. What? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I was just, I was on there. I'm like, oh, I'll just buy a ticket. <sighs> you know, we should have thought that the fact that he's on the site. He never does anything unless he's going to. That is a good point, actually. <laughs> no, actually, I've That's been. some shitty detective work Actually, us. I've been on the PAX Australia site many times to get imagery. So that wasn't a lie. But, oh, um, there you go. Yeah, Look at that. Just, but he got tickets. I just nice. went on there. And I'm like, oh, I'll but buy wait, tickets. did you get tickets to the 2021 and 2019 <laughs> one? <laughs> <laughs> but um, I was like, oh, that wasn't hard. <laughs> I just bought a ticket. Oh, the hell. Mean, meanwhile, Intergod had to do all these hacks, <laughs> changes in network traffic. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, my God. Write all these Python scripts. <laughs> Go yeah. on, on the roof of his house, fixes his, his antenna. I was, I was actually thinking. Communicates with some satellite. I was thinking, geez, should I even mention this story? But the fact that people can still buy tickets, I don't feel like it's that bad now nah, to mention fine. it. Yeah. But I may have not mentioned it if it was sold out. <laughs> <laughs> I might have refrained. <laughs> Because I was like, ooh, when I, when I saw, ooh, shoot, people might miss out. This is probably not going to look so good. Oh, cool. So the whole Big Wig crew is going to be there. Yeah. Oh, right, I'm ooh. not going with you guys. I'm going by myself. <laughs> you dickhead. <laughs> he would actually do that as well. He you know, probably he would too, yeah. Did you get three-day tickets <laughs> or just a one-day? Sorry, I was adjusting my chair. Um, I uh, I just bought it for the one-day. I don't know what day it was. Which day? Nah, it was, all, it was three days. Oh. <laughs> I just keep wanting to just keep messing with you guys. Well, oh, that's exciting. Well, let's wear let's wear some uh, big wig shirts, and yeah. then anyone who's listening, they can come up to us because I love talking to random people. Oh, that's yeah. totally no, it's true. He does, especially <laughs> outside schools. That's totally gonna happen. What's gonna happen? Ah, whatever. Let's move no, on. People, right. people are super friendly at those. All right. when, if, when I was someone, there. What, you have to make a bet now, Swinney, because you're like, as if that's going to happen. This is the second time you wanted to bet. You've got a problem. Well, you've got a big mouth and you've got to back it up. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't mean I have to bet about it. Well, you got to back it up. Back it up if you, nah, you make a big claim. I, I prefer to run my mouth wait, wait, and wait, not wait, wait, what's, the the what's the bet? Well, what's he's the saying bet? no one what's will come up to us. Now people right? will come up to so us. So if right, someone well, comes up to us. Yeah, because we're going to look like three idiots. <laughs> All right, we're enough. Let's three move stupid on. T-shirts. Let's move on. All right, we're all looking forward to PAX Australia. So that's uh... well, two of us are more than one one of the others. <laughs> I won't say who. We're gonna force him to wear a big wig shirt. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's get on to the next story. Uh, so this week, Nintendo Shadow dropped. 